Hello there and welcome back to some more Grand Theft Auto 3. Today we're continuing our Let's Play. This is episode 18. In today's episode, we are taking a look at Ray's missions, which can be done at the Belleville Park toilets. So uh, let's get ourselves over there. Thankfully, it's not too far away from our safe house. Uh, just a short jog down the street. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Of course, uh, last time we did Kenji's missions. Uh, so we're starting to get into the later act of the game now. Uh, Ray's missions and then the missions that come after this are sort of very close uh, to the end missions. They sort of set up for act number three, so uh, that should be fun. Uh, we're not going to do all of Ray's missions today because his last mission actually has to be done uh, along with someone else's missions, so you will see those uh, come up in the next episode after this one. So you'll see Ray's last mission in the next episode. Anyways, his first mission is... As I hop into the thing. Silence the Sneak. That scumbag, McCaffrey! He took more bribes than anyone. He thinks he's going to get an honorable discharge if he turns to evidence. He just squealed. He's under armed protection in Witsack property down in Newport. Some apartment behind a car park. Torch that place. That's it. Flush him out and you'll put them down. Make sure he never talks to nobody. Okay. This is one of my least favorite missions in the game. Essentially what you have to do is go and get Leon by throwing a grenade through the window of his house. Now, that is more difficult than you'd think, considering you don't really have a choice over where the grenades go. Uh, so it really is just a case of trial and error. So I'm not expecting this to go well. You're probably going to have to laugh at my awful grenade skills. There is an easy way to do this mission, it's called a rocket launcher. Unfortunately I don't have one, uh, so we do have to make do right. His car pops out of this garage I believe, so what I'm going to do is park my car there, see if that will help block him a little bit. Uh, I believe there's also a couple of guys who come out after him, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab that car, and I'm also going to get this car just so I have a getaway plan. Uh, if this doesn't go as well as I plan. Right. Need to be a bit closer. Try not to blow up the taxi. Fuck. <laughs> there we go. Right. Get the car. Let's go. Oh, Jesus, he's running over pedestrians. This has gone not massively well. The car I'm in is also slower than his car, which doesn't help. The frame rate is not happy. Oh, I'm catching, apparently. Apparently he's just driving through lampposts at the moment as well, which doesn't particularly help me. Right, slightly focusing on the uh, the car chase at hand here. As he dives in and out of traffic. Oh no 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 no! That would be bad. I thought that was a Yakuza member shooting at me. Then I was about to say. Oh, I was about to say if I lost him. I don't have no idea where he's going. I got to be perfectly honest. Usually I'm used to failing the mission by this point, so I have no idea. Sentinel's just there, yeah. I really should have picked a better car. Do you know what I should have done? I should have saved the taxi for this. And then... Used the Blitzer for... Bollocks. Yeah, that's mission over. Yeah. Or is it? Go that way. I have. Okay, he's just gonna do the game's usual thing where the car gets stuck in the loop. I like how every other time I've played this game so far, we've. Most of the missions have gone pretty well. This one is going 
pretty piss poor as far as missions go. Oh, there's actually another guy in his car. Oh, that's McAfee's in the back. I don't really know. Either way, apparently the Sentinel is the most... There we go. There we go. <laughs> that only took about a million more years than it should have done. I hate that mission so much. But to be honest with you, I was expecting to fail that one. Uh, purely because I'm used to throwing the grenade through the window and then losing the car, so... It's probably the best that mission's ever gone for me uh, without using the rocket launcher, and even then it was still a bit of a piss-poor attempt. Uh, but, nevertheless, that's how it goes sometimes. I don't believe I lost any armor or anything, though, so... Uh, that's always a good thing. Anyways, arms shortage. Hey, kid, over here! I know old army buddy of mine runs a business in Rockford. We saw action in Nicaragua back when the country knew what it was doing. Anyway, some cartel scum roughed him up yesterday. Said they'd be back for some of his stock today. He's gonna need backup, and in return, they'll give you a knockdown rates on any hardware you buy. I'd go myself, but the old sciatic is playing up. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> good luck. Alrighty, gotta go help an old army buddy of him. I don't know why he isn't just, you know, warning the cartel off on his own, but there you go. Anyways, we will get our trusty Kruma and uh, go and head and meet Phil. So, interesting thing about this mission is the fact that um, you can buy a rocket launcher after this mission, which would have been really helpful in the last mission, but... You know, is what it is. At least we'll finally get our hands on one now. The game seems a bit louder than usual. Let me turn that down a bit. Um, apologies if you could hear the game's background noise coming through the television. I don't think you should have been able to, but maybe you was. I don't know. And my phone decided to go off as well. Great. Anyways, welcome to Phil's place. Right. Um, little bit of strategy here is I'm going to try and leave the car here. Uh, it'll be a little bit of a buffer, not much though. There's a rocket launcher up there as well. Ahead, but I thought there'd be more of you. Can't believe those yellow belly bastards left me without proper cover again. Well, three arms are better than one, so grab whatever you need. Those Colombians will be here any minute. Those Colombians will be here any minute. So we get our choice of some weapons, including the M16, uh, which is a pretty rare weapon in the game. I'm not actually sure how you're supposed to get... I believe you're supposed to use the barracks to get up there, but... Eh, not 100% sure on that. Uh, right. Apparently the game despawns the car, so... I don't know why he doesn't just shut his fence, but there you go. Oh. If they want to shoot the crap out of the car, I'm fine with that. I'm going to put my phone on mute in a minute. Oop, god, they're everywhere. Uh, there's a fire engine comes. Also, the game auto aims at Phil for some reason, which isn't particularly what we call useful. Is that seriously gonna be it? One guy? Is that it, seriously? I thought it'd be more than that. Oh Jesus, okay, that's the end of that one. That was pretty straightforward considering. Oh well. Now it's a weird looking character model right there. And we get 10 grand and now we can buy uh, an M16, a shotgun and a rocket launcher. Also, this tank is unstealable, and also it is not a proper tank in the game, because you could just do this to it. So I guess it's sort of a rare car in the game. Ish. Ignore that. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing there. So let's steal the Cartel Cruiser and go back over to Ray, as we'll leave the fire engine to do its death pose. Yeah, that was... um. 
a hell of a lot easier than I was expecting it to be. Uh, I wasn't quite expecting them to go around the back like they did. Uh, also, the auto-targeting to Ray is really irritating. You can actually fail the mission uh, pretty easily by accidentally shooting um, Phil. Sorry, I think I keep saying Ray by accident. You can you can fail the mission by shooting Phil, which is not particularly great uh, with the auto-targeting, so something to try and best avoid. But nevertheless, uh, we will go ahead and invade the toilet block once more to find out what Ray wants us to do. This time around. Also, we'll probably go pick up some armor at the hideout. Uh, evidence dash. I remember this mission. This mission's also a twat. I know a real important man in town. A soft touch with, uh, shall we say, exotic tastes and the money to indulge them. He's involved in a legal matter, and the prosecution has some rather embarrassing photos of him at a morgue party or something. The evidence is being driven across town. You are going to have to ram that car and collect each little bit of evidence as it falls out. When you've got it all, leave it in the car and torch it. We're both going to do pretty well out of this, kid. So, um, fun fact. Uh, I hate this game. <laughs> um, basically, uh, in this mission, you have to uh, target a truck, which has evidence. You knock evidence off the back of the truck and collect it, collect six pieces of evidence, and then uh, do something else with it, I'm largely sure. I collected four pieces of evidence from the truck, and then the truck sank itself by going over uh, the bridge that goes into Torrington from Newport, so that's good. Uh, I did find something out though. Uh, this mission, as soon as you hit the truck, you get a wanted level. However, if you weren't that wanted level, you don't get the wanted level back. So, that is probably the aim of the game on this one. Also, I now have a police car to do this with, because I actually got arrested. Um, yeah, that happened. Basically, I failed the mission with the truck sinking itself. I stole a car. Uh, the police came after me for some stupid reason. I then got trapped between my car and the cop car, tried to get back into my car, and then got arrested. So, uh, we don't have any of our weapons or armour, but that's not too much of an issue considering uh, how our safe house works. Right. So, as you can see, uh, you get a wanted level for hitting the bobcat. Uh, we'll probably swing by my hideout and uh, try and wipe that out in a minute. Oop. Bollocks, cock and bollocks and bollocks and cocks. It's not a particularly great thing to do. Also, you can't lose the truck. He stays on your radar, so you don't have to worry too much about... Um, letting him go off and do his own thing while we quickly sneak back to the hideout to get rid of our wanted level, so that's good. Right, we'll sneak down here. Fuck you. <laughs> and come down here. Grab some of our police bribes and I'll also grab uh, some weapons here just because. There we go. Right. Also, you can't just blow up the uh, can't just blow up the prosecution's vehicle. Actually, this police car is quite useful for this mission. So what I'll do is quickly regen its health. There we go. All right. Let's get back to it. Also, this is sort of the there. Yeah, this is sort of the point. What the fuck? Okay, uh, this is the point in the game where uh, it gets quite a bit more difficult, so you may very well see uh, multiple takes of various missions. Of course, uh, if you know anything about me, you'll know, or if you know anything about today's recording session, uh, from the incompetence I've had with Ray, uh, apparently my GTA 3 WizKid ability is starting to uh, fade away, also that was really great. Apparently I got a wanted level for, I'm not actually sure what I did. I think I like scrapes a cop car very slightly. Also, I think I've done more damage to this cop car coming back to the bleeding bobcat. 
Right. Essentially, though, we want to crack on his evidence before he gets to that bridge again because he will just sink his own truck when he gets to the bridge. That works for me. That works for me as well. Okay, cool. Yeah, if you want to keep yourself stuck, that's absolutely fine. And one more big ram. There we go. And now, just because you're a dick, chase the truck off. Right, now we've got to blow up our car, I believe. And, uh, yeah, we'll be done. Let's go into the car park over here. Because I kind of want, like, a replacement car. That's not an entrance to the car park. There's some dead people. Alright. And now we've got to torch the car, so we will torch the car. That's done a good job. I don't think it means literally torch it, by the way. I'm just doing this because I want to use me Molotovs up because Molotovs are useful in this game. Or useless. There we go. Eventually the car will catch fucking fire. Uh, right. And now, you'll also notice we have some a new mission radar. Uh, we have a D on the map. Uh, we will go investigate what that is uh, in the next episode. But for right now, uh, we will continue on with the attack of Ray. See what he wants this time up. If we don't get arrested on the way to his mission this time, because that would be not good. Right. I do like the fact that Ray's missions are in the park, though. They're a pretty simple spot to get to on the map, which is nice. Donald's uh, missions, the D, is also pretty simple to do as well. So, gone fishing. I think my partner's a rat! We gotta shut him up permanently! He goes fishing out of his boat near the lighthouse on Portland Rock most nights. Steal a police boat! Make sure his backstabbing plans are sunk. I want him sleeping with the fishes, not eating them. Alrighty. So we've got to get ourselves over to a police boat, go over to Portland and shut up his partner. Apparently... Um, he really like, doesn't like his uh, partners. Can't really blame him. Everyone's a rat. Not me. Uh, GTA 4 trailer there. Remember GTA 4? That was a good game. I'll LP that eventually. Fun fact actually about uh, GTA 4, speaking of which, is I think... I, hmm, I think I'm right on this. Uh, I was actually going to LP GTA 4 uh, a long, long time ago. I did like the first three episodes of it and then just sort of got kind of eh on the whole idea. Uh, I didn't particularly like the quality of the episodes that was going out, so yeah. I will return to that at some point though, uh, although I do plan to do pretty much all of the 3D era GTA games first because those are my favourites. Uh, GTA 4 is a very good game as well and then 5 can suck a dick, so... Five's not a bad game, Five's just a sort of... Eh, you know, I'm not too bothered when it comes to GTA 5. It's not really my thing. Uh, I find the story to be a little bit more dragging in its second act, and also uh, just sort of GTA Online, the whole money laundering process that is GTA Online, uh, really has kind of soured me uh, on GTA 5 when I'm sort of thinking about it in general, so it's a little bit of a shame, but there you go. Uh, it does happen. So now we've just got to take our boat around the back end of Portland. Uh, I was going to see how long I could go without triggering that scene, but I knew what I was going to. Uh, of course, as usual, when it comes to uh, Portland, we've got to do our best efforts to not go anywhere near the St. Mark's region. We have to go just behind uh, the lighthouse at Sal's old mansion. You can actually see Sal's mansion uh, from here, which is pretty impressive. I say mansion. Sal's house is more of like a 
bungalow? Well, I don't know. It might have more than one floor. There's only one floor. It's more just like a house in the hills, really, uh, over anything else, but there you go. Right. I see the boat. It is the boat we're after. The infamous, uh, what's it called? Ghost something boat. There's uh, some fishies. And also, I believe he starts throwing grenades towards us if we get too close. So. Oh no, he drops the barrels off the boat and they're explosive. There we go. Awesome! Alright, that is his boat wiped out, so we've now got to try and sneak our way back into Stalton Island without causing too much of a fuss with all of the gangs in Portland. So yeah, uh, interesting fact, this is actually a rear vehicle in the game. It's called the Ghost Missing. Uh, it's essentially a police boat with no guns uh, painted blue, but it is somewhat fascinating for its origins. Of course, um, it's actually supposed to be called the Ghost. I believe in the PC version it is. However, in the PS2 and also Xbox versions, it is known as the Ghost Missing because it is actually a missing part of its name. I believe it's... I can't remember how GTA 3 names cars, but essentially it's missing part of the string. Uh, hence why it refers to itself as Missing, uh, which is interesting. But other than that, there's, there's no real purpose of getting it. There's no way to store it, I don't think. Maybe you can push it into a garage in Staunton, but ooh, I don't know how well that would work. Hey, we left Portland without being shot at. Isn't that incredible? Probably one of the first times I've ever managed to accomplish that. Uh, so let's go back over the Callahan Bridge to the nice, pleasant safety-ish of Staunton Island. Of course, if we ignore the fact that the cartel tried to shoot at us every single time we go anywhere near the bloody hospital. Alright. Welcome to Staunton Island. Hurrah. Perhaps flip the car by pulling a cheeky handbrake turn. That would be embarrassing. Alright. Uh, I believe this is our final ray mission for today. Uh, so that is good. And uh, let's go ahead and see what he wants us to do in Plaster Blaster. You useless bastard! You totally messed up! My ass is on the line and you can't even kill a goddamn fly! I paid you good money to kill that witness. And he ain't dead! And today he's gonna make a federal deposition! He's being moved any second now from the Carson General Hospital up in Rockford. If he squeals, I squeal! I mean, if you squeal, all you really want to do is damage Asuka and yourself, because I have never spoken to you, you don't even know what I'm called. So, Asuka, my genitalia. Anyways, we've gonna go ahead and attack an ambulance carrying uh, a witness. I believe it's Leon in the uh, ambulance. So let's go ahead and head over to the Carson Hospital. I see an ambulance. Now, the question is, how do I want to tackle this? Uh, of course you could say blow up the ambulance, however, if you do it within a certain distance of the hospital, I believe the game declares it as... Oh, no, okay, never mind. The game declares it as a decoy, but apparently this one's just overreacted. There you go. And now we've got to smash a cast. Which is interesting. Oh god. That is a really strong cast. Right, um, difficulty is mounting here. 
I actually don't know the best method to this. Trying to run him over isn't really working. Apparently his cast is very strong, whatever it's made of. There we go. That was a clusterfuck, but it worked in the end. Right, we've got to head back to our hideout for some more health and armour. But um, as far as you lot go, that is the end of uh, that mission. Yeah, a little bit of an awkward one. Probably would have worked out better if I'd uh, got a rocket launcher from Phil, but you know me. Uh, if you don't do it the challenging way, then there's no point of doing it at all. Anyways, uh, that is going to be it for this episode of the uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 Let's Play. Do hope you've enjoyed. Next time, uh, we are going to take a look at the D logo missions, uh, indicating Mr. Donald Love, who is a media mogul who may need our help to encounter some sh or to perform some strange, interesting, weird jobs for him, as most corrupt people do. So uh, stay tuned for that. Until then, farewell. I'm handing in my gun.